I think it is very important to treat to progression um, in such a patient. And the reason we think this way really comes from how the newer B cell receptor signaling agents work compared to chemoimmunotherapy. With chemotherapy, the longer we administer that form of treatment, uh, we do see diminishing responses over time, and we also see increased toxicity the longer we continue therapy. So as a result, when we administer chemoimmunotherapy, we typically use six cycles or so and then have to stop. Whereas with abrutinib and idelalisib specifically and some of the other B cell receptor signaling inhibitors, it does appear that treating to progression is important when patients become resistant or if therapy is stopped for um, reasons of side effects, we often will see a rapid return of the disease. Additionally, we don't see cumulative toxicity similar to what we've seen with cytotoxic chemotherapy. Uh, and a good example of this is in the abrutinib data. We do see, we don't see cu uh, cumulative side effects. We see less infections. We see an improvement of IgA over time. So not only do we see better efficacy, uh, but less side effects, again, suggesting that it is important to continue the agents.